What is going on everybody? Today we are going to be looking at the R5C and how to sort of hack the camera to get face and eye detection when you're shooting in 120 frames a second. Now the camera normally has face and eye detection when you're shooting in 4K24, 4K30, 4K60, up to 60. But to be able to get to 120 frames a second, you have to switch to the slow and fast recording modes. And in those modes, there is no face and eye detection. It's just the normal like spot AF. When I was shooting an event the other day, I sort of came across a way that you can use the face tracking from the regular shooting modes and apply that to the slow and fast recording modes. So if you just want the quick hitting answer, basically what you do is you switch to the 4K24 or the 4K60 mode, let the camera find the face and track the face. Then all you do is you just quickly switch back to the slow and fast recording modes. That way you're in 120 frames a second, but the camera has already tracked the face. Now it's obviously not going to continue to track the face. That mode is not available when you're shooting in 120 frames a second. But in my experience, the way that the autofocus works, I feel like the face tracking just does a lot better job than the spot focus mode does. So it actually can be a really handy tool. And if you have your camera set up correctly where you can quickly switch between the two modes, it actually can work really well. To show you how, how this works and how you can do this on your R5C, I'm going to bring in a friend to help me do this test so I can demonstrate it for you. Say hello to Manny, everybody. Manny, thank you for joining us on the show today. You're going to be our test subject. I think the camera will probably track a mannequin's face. I think so. It looks very face-like. We'll see how it goes. All right. Let's say we're filming this and we want to put the person on the right hand side, you know, put them on the right third. We would move our little joystick over here, place it in the right spot where we wanted it. See, it's not easy. Press record and then we're good to go and we keep them on the right side. So now if they move to the side and all of a sudden putting them to the center, we lose our focus point and I've got to move my focus point and that can make the whole camera just kind of jumpy and it just, they're going to move, you know, they're going to be moving around, they're going to go be going everywhere. It's just not the best way, it's not the easiest way. Now, if you have a light setup, you can tap the screen, and that's definitely really helpful, because you can just tap right to the place you want it to focus. It'll go right there, and that's pretty great. So if they move, you can just keep tapping it. That's not my favorite way of hand-holding. I like to keep it very steady with two hands like this. And if I need to switch to manual focus, I can. If I need to zoom, I have my hand right here, and all the focusing can be done with my right hand and the autofocus. So that's the normal way to do it. But with the trick, so we found a person that we want to shoot. We want to keep them on the right-hand side. If we switch out of 120 frames a second and we go to 24 frames a second, boom, we immediately catch their eye. Now what we can do is we can we catch their eye, we turn off AF, so basically we lock the AF right where it is, switch back to 120, and then we can press record. And then we're right in it. So the camera found the face super fast, stopped AF, so that means when we come back, if our box isn't in the right spot, it's not going to start focusing to something else. And now we're recording in the framing that we want. So say we're, we're moving around, we're trying to find our next shot, camera's focused wherever, off in the distance, and boom, all right, we found, we found a person we want to shoot. We're going to switch to 24, face tracking, turn off AF, back to 120, start recording. You're good to go. So it's really quick. And you can turn all of this on and off very quickly with the camera if you have the button set up the right way. So first thing you want to do is you want to set up inside of the menus, assignable button menu. You want to set one of these buttons that you can press quickly to switch you into slow and fast motion. Right now I have number one, this AF on button set to do that. So as soon as I press that button, you'll see we go into 24 frames a second and the camera will immediately find a face. You can see how quickly it goes from 120 to 24. It's the press of a button and you can really quickly press it and record and it's back to back. It's pretty, pretty instantaneous, which I really love. The other thing you have to set up is your AF lock assignable button if it's not already set up that way. So I have number six set up for that. So we can go down to number six here and I set that to AF lock, not while pressed. I don't want to have to hold that button down. I just click AF lock. And so now what we do is when we switch into 24, it finds the face, focuses on it. We press six and it's going to lock the focus there. So now the focus, even though the lens is set to autofocus, camera set to autofocus, I have locked the focus, so it's not going to go anywhere. That allows us to press number one back into 120 frames a second. Even though our little box is off to the side, it's the focus is going to be staying with our person, which is great. And then you can shoot your shot. You can frame them up wherever you want them to go because the camera's not going to change focus anywhere. It's going to keep the focus right there because we're locked. And then you can just as easily unlock it if you want to go back to focusing inside of your slow and fast mode. So now I want to show you that at like a full speed motion. So here's how it goes. Going 24 frames a second, face tracking turns on, AF lock, back to 120, press record. So it's pretty easy. It's it's a few extra buttons that you're hitting, but I, I like hitting a lot of buttons. I, I play melee, so this is a lot of fun for me. So even when you're walking around with the camera, you can leave it in 24. And then when you find the person you want to shoot, let it track the face, let it get locked onto the eye, lock the focus, back to 120, press record. You're good to go. It doesn't matter where your little focus dot's going. 
It really is that fast. And then as soon as you wanna go back to that, turn your AF back on, tap the screen, move the dial, whatever you gotta do. All right guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Hopefully that is gonna be a helpful tip that's gonna work for you. At the very least, maybe you can use it every so often, maybe use it when you're setting up to be able to quickly get shots in focus and quickly work. I think for a lot of run and gun B-roll shooters who are shooting things really fast, I think that's a really helpful option. Obviously, I, I wish we could have face tracking and eye detection all the way up to 120 frames a second just consistently and actually built in to the firmware and maybe Canon will add that in the future. But I think for me, I was excited about it. So I want to share it with you. And if it works for you, that's great. And if it doesn't, leave a comment down below and I will see it and I will be sad about it. So anyways, hope it was helpful and see you guys in the next one. So to show you how this is going to work, I'm going to bring in a friend to help me test this out. Supposed to stay up here. Your face 